to access free topic sheets, worksheets, or to book an online class, visit ilearneasy.co.uk. Parts of the eye. There are different parts of the human eye. Each part has a specific function. Cornea, aqueous humor, pupil, iris, lens, ciliary body, ciliary muscles, suspensory ligaments, conjunctiva, choroid, sclera, vitreous humor, retina, macula, optic nerve. Cornea. The cornea is the clear curved front surface of the eye. This is the first part that light hits. The cornea bends light to help focus it. This is known as refraction. The cornea also acts as a protective outer layer. Aqueous humor. This is the watery fluid found in the front of the eye. This is both in the anterior and posterior chambers. It's produced by the ciliary body and flows from the posterior chamber through the pupil into the anterior chamber and then drains through the trabecular meshwork. The aqueous humor provides nutrients to the cornea and lens and it maintains intraocular pressure. Pupil. The pupil is the black circular opening in the center of the eye. The pupil controls how much light enters the eye. It gets bigger in the dark and smaller in bright light. Iris. The iris is the colored part of the eye. This can be blue, brown, green, etc. The iris controls the size of the pupil. It responds to light automatically. The iris contains smooth muscles. These play a very important role in controlling how much light enters the eye. It contains circular muscles and radial muscles. Circular muscles contract to make the pupil smaller. This occurs in bright light. Radial muscles contract to make the pupils larger. This occurs in dim light. Lens. The lens is a clear flexible structure behind the pupil. The lens functions to fine focus light onto the retina. It does this by changing shape in order to adjust focus. The lens gets thicker to focus on near objects and it gets thinner to focus on far objects. This function of focusing is called accommodation. Ciliary muscles. The ciliary muscles surround the lens and are connected to the suspensory ligaments. The ciliary muscles control the shape of the lens during accommodation. They contract to make the lens thicker for near vision and they relax to make the lens thinner for far vision. The ciliary muscles also help with fluid drainage from the anterior chamber. This happens indirectly as the ciliary body is involved in aqueous humor production and regulation. Suspensory ligaments, also known as zonular fibers or zonules. These hold the lens in place and assist with lens adjustment. The suspensory ligaments transmit force from the ciliary muscles to the lens. When the ciliary muscles contract, the ligaments relax, so the lens gets thicker. When the ciliary muscles relax, the ligaments tighten and the lens gets thinner. Conjunctiva. This is a thin clear tissue covering the white part of the eye and the inner eyelids. The conjunctiva functions to protect and lubricate the eye. It also acts as a barrier against dust and infection. Choroid. This is the middle layer between the retina and sclera. The choroid contains lots of blood vessels. 
It supplies oxygen and nutrients to the retina. The choroid also absorbs excess light to prevent internal reflection. So, your vision isn't blurry or hazy. Sclera. The sclera is the white part of the eye. The sclera is a tough outer layer that protects the eye and maintains the eye's shape. Vitreous humor. This is a clear jelly-like substance found in the large back part of the eye. This is known as the vitreous chamber. The vitreous humor fills the space between the lens and retina. It helps to maintain the eye shape and allows light to pass through. It's mostly unchanged from birth and can sometimes shrink with age, which causes floaters. Retina. The retina is a layer of tissue at the back of the eye. The retina captures light and turns it into electrical signals. This layer of the eye contains photoreceptors. The photoreceptors in the retina are rods and cones. Rods are photoreceptors that detect black and white. These are found in the periphery. They're sensitive to motion and night vision. Cones are photoreceptors that detect color. These are concentrated in the fovea and are responsible for sharp central color vision. Macula. This is the central part of the retina. It's responsible for sharp central vision. At the center of the macula is the fovea. This is the sharpest vision point. The fovea contains only cones, which is why it gives the sharpest detail. Optic nerve. The optic nerve is a thick nerve connected to the back of the eye. The optic nerve carries visual signals from the retina to the brain. The brain then processes the images and lets you see. There are no photoreceptors in the part where the optic nerve leaves the retina. Therefore, this is the part in which the retina cannot detect light. This small area is known as the blind spot.